actually met online through OkCupid. Uh, I never really had a lot of success with online dating, but I decided I'd give it one shot. This time the dating is really different, because before just looking for guys, don't know what do I really need from a guy. And when I write on the profile, I want a Christian man who can raise a godly family with me. And I found her profile, it was really interesting, so I sent her a message. He responded, <laughs> and we went from there. We had a good first date. First date, we almost didn't make it because it was pouring outside. And I thought, you know, she's really pretty, she's nice, she's successful, she's very spiritual, so there might be something there. And the whole time he did not look me in the eye, so I had to wonder, is he interested? And at the end of the day, he didn't hug me. I was like ready to hug, but he hold on his hand. I was like, oh. No hug. So I thought that was it. <laughs> the first time that uh, Dan and I hold hands is here at Venice Canal. She said, oh, let's go to the Venice Canal, so it'll be really nice at sunset. I planned out this day, and I wanted to be romantic. Paul Trump, he did not hold my hand. <laughs> My dad already know he's a bit shy. He's not not interested in me, he's just shy. So I tried to drop hands like, oh, I'm cold. No response. <laughs> we started walking and exploring the canals a little bit. And she was saying, oh, you're walking too fast. You're walking too fast. And he's walking faster. And I couldn't catch up. So I just say, oh, um, can you walk slower? I was like, well, maybe you can fix the walking speed issue and the holding hands issue at the same time. Came back and grabbed my hand and they were like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> and then they let it go. We held hands for the rest of the night together. Pretty good date. The first kiss was a long time coming. Every single step I was super nervous about. I was asking my friends, like, is it okay to do this yet? And when is it okay to hold hands? When is it okay to kiss? And it took us a few months to actually kiss. I think she wanted to, to make sure it was the right thing. I like to tease him a lot. I think I said, oh, uh, I'm so smitten by you or something, and I'm just teasing him. And uh, I don't know, he just took the courage to kiss me, totally by surprise. It just happened. It seemed like the right thing to do, so, so we did. It's always like the most random moment he does. <laughs> yeah, that's the stuff. It was definitely a spark. The first time I know I need to back this guy quick is one night out of nowhere, I start to have very acute uh, stomach pain. And it got so bad to the point I couldn't even call 911. Good thing he, he did. This is maybe the first time in my life that I cared about somebody else's welfare more than I cared about my own welfare. And I have to be there for her, even in her, her worst times. The whole time I was like, get some rest, you know, take a small nap. He's like, no, I'm not going to sleep. I'm going to watch over you. He didn't complain. And even when I fell in sleep, he was still awake. So he got so little sleep. Words means very little until you can show your action. And that day, I cannot ask for more. I was struggling to come up with an idea about how to propose. She's always mentioning that she loves wontons, and she's really, uh, she really likes her food. So I figured I'd go with something simple and just make her a meal that she really likes. So he took the time to cook the huantun from the scratch. But at middle time, he doesn't know how to fold it because it's a very special way to fold it. So I came home and I helped him fold the Huan Tuan. So we made the food together that night. At that point I had the ring for a while and I was kind of itching to just do it and <laughs> just propose, you know. I wanted to make it special. He served me the Huan Tuan. As he does that, he gave me a letter. And I was still kind of clueless at the time because we talked about wedding and then we decided, you know, if we're going to do personal vow, we would want each other to proofread. So that was like proofreading his uh, personal vow went for one day. And I was like, oh, this is good writing. And once I finished reading it, and I was just going to give him a compliment, I was like, hey, baby, that's really good. And as I turned, he handed out a ring to me. He said that, I know you like food, and I want to cook your favorite dishes for you for the rest of your life. Dance faith is very important because this is when it really starts to show the difference of having someone who has the same foundation with you versus someone who does not. Before we go to sleep, he will always pray for us and for our family. It's very precious. It's what I have been looking for all, all this time. He keep me grounded. I feel safe with him. <laughs> She's really a strong partner. Uh, she encourages me a lot. She helps me with uh, situations I have at work. She gives me good advice. 
She's definitely a very supportive, uh, very encouraging individual, and that's what I like most about her. What I look the most for our wedding day is officially before God and before our friends and family, I am making a choice, a commitment to love Him and to spend the rest of my life with Him. So I'm just looking forward to being married, mostly. I love you, babe.